What's a red flag that screams drop this class immediately? First day being asked to read a 300 plus page novel by the next class. I'm sorry, I also have a job and four other classes, the world doesn't revolve around your class. I went straight to the registrar's office and dropped. Tried really hard to get in limited seats in Japanese class. Only because I loved learning new languages and cultures. Two days in, anime guys started showing up and converted it into daily anime convention. The professor was easily overwhelmed. Dropped in less than a week. Professor starts off the first day with I don't believe in teaching. Proceeds to explain that we should just teach ourselves advanced physics out of the textbook, and he has office hours if we really need it. Four people, myself included, had signed up for the class. I pieced out of there immediately. When the first day's intro is way over your head and includes concepts and terminology you've never heard of, and you look around and realize your classmates seem comfortable and familiar with what the professor is saying. That's when I realized it was not the class for me. Happened to me twice. Took a college course where the teacher printed a name tag for you on cardstock. Had to keep it in good condition the entire semester, and got points taken off if it wasn't on display on your desk or if it became damaged. No replacements allowed. Microprocessors class. Online with no actual Zoom sessions. Just email. Might as well be a self-paced instructorless course. Resources include links to crappy or non-existent whitey videos, and a giant PDF of some outdate mind-numbing textbook, 80 PGS of assigned reading per week. Instructor has does not engage. When asked for some alternative internet resources, says any search engine will help you with that. Has super high expectations, but then randomly gives you 100s or says that the assignment was secretly extra credit and doesn't matter anyway. Also just looks like an absolute prick based off of his avatar. Professors who refuse to let students use the bathroom during class. Or just generally treating college students like their children. Listen, shithead. If I'm 22 plus and paying to attend your lectures for my degree, I'm going to go pee when I need to. Get off your high horse, this isn't middle school where I need to ask for a hall pass. I had a professor who would come into the classroom 10 minutes before class started, take off his shoes, sit cross-legged on a chair, and refuse to talk to any students before class started. He also was extremely condescending and wore hideous suits. He ran the class like a high school class, like you had to ask to go to the bathroom and stuff like that. Worst part is, it was too late for me to drop that class by the time I spotted the red flags. When the teacher is absent for half a fucking year then assign a shit ton of work and doesn't even teach. Then you come to find she takes all assignments from a quizlet so you 1. can cheat on all tests, and 2. you can just teach yourself and say thank you to the original quizlet owner bc they teach better than your shitty chem teacher. I had a professor that pretty much had his students do the work for him. We were put into groups, he gave us a list of topics and each class two groups would do a presentation. That dude didn't teach one class himself. Assigning an unreasonable amount of classwork because, you should treat my class like your only class. That is the only time I ever dropped a class, and after talking to my classmates who stayed in, I made the right call. Not me, but my dad still bitterly tells the story of a business class he took over the summer. The first day of the class the professor walks up and says none of you will get higher than AB, because this is a summer class not a real class. My dad got AB. I think about that story sometimes, how can a person, nominally intelligent, be so confident in such a dumb rule? That dude would for sure get fired if he said that to a class today. First grades, assessment aren't distributed until after the drop date. If you don't know where you stand, how can you possibly know whether it's worth sticking out? Auto, in college, if you happen across a good professor or grad instructor, look up their courses every year and ask your advisor if what they're teaching fits your degree path. I took three classes from one prof because most of the grade was a year-end project. I didn't get lower than a 99 on any of the three. 
I hated classes that rely on rote memorization and testing give me a couple research projects to do and I'll excel. In art and design classes, if the teacher focuses more on what you write about your art than developing your skills, they have no clue what they're talking about. Unless your work ends up in displays and museums, unlikely, then nobody is going to care about the three-page essay of bullshit you made up about metaphors. Your teacher is just a pretentious asshole who doesn't actually know what they're doing.